Welcome to MacroCode and today's video we are going to learn about how to work with claims in SP.NET Core Identity. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, like our video and a share. So what is SP.NET Core Identity? So um, SP.NET Core Identity claims are name value pair issued to users to represent what the users are allowed to do within the system. So in our previous uh, videos, we have seen the authentic authentication of a user based uh, on easy email and password stored in the data store. So we also authorize uh, only users of a particular role to access an action method. So note that identity roles are claims, but not all claims are actually roles. So SP.NET Core Identity offers uh, claims for doing authentication and authorization. So in today's video, we will cover how to do uh, authentication and authorization using sp.net core uh, identity claims so one thing that you must uh, understand is that uh, identity roles that we were able to do so if you are new to this channel consider watching our previous videos on roles so identity roles are actually claims but not all claims are actually are roles so for this video we are going to create a sample application so uh, let's create new then we are using a speed on core mvc then let's say claims so project to sit so that is it then we'll name it claims then next then we are using a uh, speed.net 7.0 standard term uh, support then we can actually uh, allow individual uh, accounts then create <coughs> So our project will create, so we'll be able to see, we'll be able to create a controller. So you can see on our, our project. So this is our, our controllers. We have our views and even our models. So if we launch this, our application will be able to launch. So our application is uh, launching. So you can see our application has actually launched and we are going uh, we are going to uh, create a new uh, controller. So let's create a controller called uh, claims controller. So we'll just create new controller, then empty one, then we can call it claims controller, then uh, add. So you can see we have our controller. So here, let's uh, annotate this with an authorized annotation. So need to import something. So if you over there, you'll be able to see we need to import uh, that. Then on our <coughs> on our view, so we can have a. Uh, Let's say view result, view result. Then here we can have it to return user dot and if it's empty dot claims. So we want it to return that. So so if you we will we will be doing a, a video on how to get current user claims in sp.net core so watch our next videos on uh, claims then we'll be able to see how to get our user claims so we can get user claims through the user property of the http context object so it returns a claim principal object of the current user which contains all the claims of the user so we are returning this value to the view uh, as a model where it will be shown on the browser so on our so we can actually have these uh, so we can actually we can actually have these uh, we can do this on, on our home controller just to avoid uh, uh, we can replace this so you can have it that way then uh, on our home controller so we are actually using so we can get rid of this let's just use home controller then on our views let's go to index and a home then here I want us to to actually now provide the the claims. 
so we'll write that can provide a, sorry can provide some class so let's say this is the primary you can actually do that text right that is it then we can call these uh, claims sp.netco netco claims we can call these claims then here we can have a table a table so we want to show our our our, our claims on a table so class table then table then uh, well, you can say table then say bordered then here let's have our table row then we'll our table headers so for this one we'll have subject so let's do that we'll have this as a issuer have this as type we'll have this as value so after the table row we need now to provide our, our data so at the top here we want to use so at the top here just come at the top then do at model then i enumerable both then say system dot security dot claims dot claim do that then come here we say for each so we want to loop at for each so we want to use for each to loop then a value claim in model dot order order by so we say x sorry x x time dot type so that is it then we close this so we need to have our table row inside so it is order by this is order order by so on our table rows we can have now table data so this one will be at claim claim so you are using claim dot subject dot name then you can copy this we replicate here the next one will be at claim dot issuer so you can remove this then at claim dot type then at claim dot value so if you do that and actually can format that so that is it so if we run our application let's just run our application we see what it will give us So you can see uh, sp.net core claim, subject, issuer, type, and value. So we don't have any uh, values on uh, or currently on our application. So what we need to do, we need to, to create some uh, claims. We will be doing that on our next uh, video. So if you want to see how we are creating claims, then I check on our next video on how we do that.